How's it going guys? My name is Michael and today what I have for you guys is my ultimate streaming PC build. Um, I decided I kind of messed up when I started recording it and stuff like that. I tried to explain and walk through everything that I did, um, but the audio turned out really crappy for some reason. So what I did is I decided to just make that a time lapse for you and then I'm going to explain everything afterwards. But this is the ultimate streaming PC. Now before we start the time lapse of the build, I want to go ahead and go over the parts list and everything that we got to make this system work. So the parts I got for this build include the first generation AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1920X, which is a 12 core 24 thread processor clocked at 3.5 gigahertz. This processor is capable of achieving overclock speeds of around 4 gigahertz, which I plan on doing later on down the road. I paired the Threadripper with 32 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB memory, which is all installed on the Gigabyte X399 Aorus Pro gaming motherboard. To cool the system, I installed a Corsair H100i RGB Platinum liquid cooler along with two fans installed directly on the radiator and three fans installed directly above and behind the motherboard. For the GPU, I chose the new EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 Ultra XC graphics card, which will allow me to run the newest titles on max settings and also allow me to try out ray tracing on supported games. To power the build, I chose the Corsair RM850X 850W modular power supply, which should provide plenty of power to all of my components and also allow me to overclock without a problem in the future. For now, I decided to just grab one Samsung 860 EVO 1TB SSD for storage, but I plan on getting another 2 or 4TB SSD in the near future. Now for the case, I finally decided to go with a Thermaltake View 71 RGB, which is a full tower design that allows for plenty of room to upgrade in the future and also has fantastic cooling capabilities, which should help keep my components at a manageable temperature while streaming or rendering large video files. Now full disclaimer, this is my first PC build and in no means am I an expert. I made a few errors while building this PC, so please do not use this as a guide for building your own PC. I will have a couple of how-to videos that I found helpful listed in the description and I highly recommend you check them out if you plan on building your own system. Now that all that is out of the way, let's start the build.
Okay, guys, so we went ahead and finished the build. I know it cut off during, I think, our CPU uh, cooler install. And the reason why is because our camera died, and then I didn't have a backup battery, so I had to charge it. So while I was letting it charge, we just went ahead and finished putting everything together. We ran across a lot of hurdles, a lot of headache and stuff, but we finally got it done. Um, I know I need to fix my cable management and stuff like that, but this is what the uh, finished build looks like. Hopefully it, you know, it shows up good on camera. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit the power switch uh, before I put any panels back on and we're gonna see if this thing uh, shows any sign of life. So let's see what happens, guys. Here we go, fingers crossed. Oh, hold on, switch on the back. That's my fault. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Wait. He's lighting up. Uh oh. I'll let it run and see what's going on with it. Fans are blowing. AE. Okay. We're going to go find out what AE means and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I researched AE code that I was showing at the bottom here. And that just means I want us to boot to the OS uh, operating system or whatever. So it looks like everything is a go. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to detach the camera and then I'm going to show you guys around the build because this thing is beautiful. I can't wait. And of course, I'm going to do cable management later on, but let me show you this, guys. Okay, so guys, I'm going to give you a close-up of the build. As you can see, I got my Corsair pump in there. Everything seems to be going good. I got my RGB RAM. I got a big fan in the back. I got two in the front. They are spinning as well. Look at that. Gorgeous. I got my EVGA GF, uh, GT, bleh, EVGA GF, GeForce RTX 2080. It is midnight and I'm so tired. I'm sorry guys. My RM 850X power supply. Everything is wired in. As you can see, my cable management is uh, it's not the best, but it's all there. Of course, got my power button stuff there. As you can see, I completely stripped this case down, but nonetheless, it is finished. 